Dear Next Week's Adventures, I recently came upon your channel, subscriber by the way. I enjoy your videos from the Jeep Tech to the vacation slash vlog style videos. I see you're a new YouTuber. I hope you get to the monetized level soon. I love watching videos like these because it does help give me the push to go work on my own projects. However, you must be some kind of idiot. I saw in one of your videos you put an awesome ATV. It is pretty awesome. You put an awesome ATV on a Harbor Freight trailer. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Your priorities are trash. You put a five digit ATV on a $500 POS. What's wrong with you? There's a lot, but that's another video. Anyway, can't wait to see more on the Jeep. And when, when are you going to show more of the Project Mustang? Take care. I'm not really sure what to do about that. Was I insulted? Was I made fun of? My priorities are trash? Well, yeah. I bought a $15,000 four-wheeler. I can't afford a better trailer. The Harbor Freight trailer's perfect. It was $450. I went to a local scrap recycle yard. I bought about $50 worth of steel, welded some stuff on it, put a top on it, and actually, it pulls quite well. I pulled it behind the Jeep. I pulled it behind my minivan that I had. Um, I used to have the four-wheeler in the back of my pickup truck, but I sold that. So yes, I rely on this Harbor Freight trailer and actually does very well. So here it is. The POS Harbor Freight trailer that that gentleman was talking about, or lady, I'm not really sure. They didn't leave a name. Uh, yeah, it's the 1700 pound five lug, uh, 400, I think it was 450 to $500 for the trailer. I did go out and I bought some expanded metal and I bought some steel that goes right down here and I welded all that in. This is the trailer that, uh, it is the foldable trailer. Um, it doesn't do that anymore. I went ahead and welded everything on it solid. Except it still does the lift bed, um, which I am going to go ahead and take the time one of these days and weld this down so it doesn't do that anymore. Because the very first time I went to go ahead and put the beast on the trailer, um, it will smash the living hell out of the license plate. And it will damage the lights if you're not careful. So now what I do is I just bought a set of ramps. I put my ramps out and then drive it up on there. So I don't need it to tilt anymore. I'm not really worried about it. This is a great trailer. If you guys are looking for a cheap four foot by eight foot trailer, um, like I said, I did weld some of this extra steel in here because I need it to be a lot uh, stronger because this four wheeler, the dry weight on this thing is between uh, 950 to 1,000 pounds. So she's a big girl but that's okay, we love her. Um, this trailer, it pulls straight as an arrow down the highway. The four-wheeler takes up every ounce of real estate on here. I put it about, I put the tires about to right here enough to where I could put my chains on. I did put these on. So when I use my ratchet straps, it's hooked to these and you don't get the chafing on this and cut a strap. Um, but I'll pull up to about here. The weight will be perfectly balanced. I'll cruise down the highway anywhere from 60 to 70 miles an hour with it. It doesn't sway, it doesn't wiggle, it stays right behind the Jeep. Um, yeah, I love this thing, it's great. For the price that it is, you just, you can't beat it. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that and, and get one of their trailers, but they're huge. I just need it for the four-wheeler. The four-wheeler itself is roughly about four by eight. I don't need a bigger trailer for hauling the four-wheeler. I have another trailer. It's roughly a 24 foot uh, pinnel hitch trailer, tandem axle. We use it for hauling cars, tractors, or whatever else. But this thing here, its primary, primary job is to haul a four wheeler. Cause like I said, I used to have it. I put it in the back of my uh, one ton dually truck, take it anywhere. But I have this thing. It's stored outside. As you can see, two things I read about this thing before I bought it. One, 
the paint. It comes a nice shade of red. It stays a lovely shade of pink. So I got the bright idea to try to sand it down and paint it with some uh, some black Rust-Oleum paint. And I put a little, little custom stuff on here, a little Can-Am, but that's all coming off. Because I've had this thing for about five years now. But as you can see, that paint didn't stick either. So it is what it is. I parked this thing outside, it's been in the rain, it's been in the snow. The one thing I do, besides from the paint that was the other thing, the bearings. If you are going to get this trailer, pull the bearings off, re-grease them. I've seen more grease and more amount of anything on a kid's toothbrush than they ship with this thing when it came from uh, Harbor Freight. It was about the tiniest little squirt of grease in there, so they are known for having bearing failures. But the five years I've had this thing, after every trip, I pull it in the garage, pull the wheels off, clean the bearings, re-grease them, throw them back in, good to go. So yeah, if you want a nice trailer at a low cost, you can't beat this thing. Like I said, I am kind of a goof, so yeah, I do put a $15,000 four-wheeler on a $500 trailer, but you know what? It goes wherever I want it to, and I have no problems with it. So to my new pen pal out there, I just want to say welcome to the channel. Thanks for writing. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be insulted by that or I don't know. Anyway, I love this trailer and if you got a chance to get one, you should too. I can't say enough good things about this little guy. Uh, he, he pulls so good behind the Jeep, behind anything I hook him on. Like I said, doesn't sway, doesn't wiggle. Um, you will have to modify the top if you're planning on putting something on it because it does not come with the top. It's pretty much made for like a four by eight sheet of plywood or something like that. But I went with the exposed uh, metal. Keep out for when it gets all muddy. Hopefully it'll start falling through and clean itself off and not overweight the uh, trailer because that thing can get pretty muddy in all the weird places. So like I said, thanks for riding. I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. If you got any buddies, go ahead and share it with them. Get them on board too. Because like I said, let's get to that monetization level and uh, we'll start doing a lot more cool projects. But until then, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I guess my priorities are trash, but I don't care. I'm having fun doing it. So, uh, side note, the Jeep headliner. She's back in. It's glued in. Uh, it's still too early to tell. Today's temperature is rolling in the 60s. I think it's going to be that way all weekend. So, we won't know if that thing's going to hold up in heat. It should. I used a different glue this time. So, hopefully that'll be okay. But I think we're in good shape because I went with a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the comments, a lot of the emails that we're getting was to go ahead, use the 3M headliner adhesive glue, and that's what we did. We actually reused the old headliner that was in there. Um, does have a couple flaws in it now, but I didn't want to have to go ahead and order a whole new blanket of that stuff and start all over. So we pulled it back, cleaned it up, restuck it. Seems to be doing very well. Um, this one, when you sprayed the glue out, you could actually see the glue laying out. Whereas the 3M Super 77 that I used, um, when you sprayed it out, you really couldn't see where it was spraying. It looked like you were spraying like hair gel or something like that or hairspray all over it because it just kind of wet it, made it a little wet, you know. So, but fingers crossed this time it worked. The project now is still, I think you can add another $20 to the total on that on what it costs to redo the headliner because I went ahead and... I went to like the local auto parts store and just picked up a can. They had one in stock and it worked out good. I'll keep you guys posted on how that works out. But that's going to do it for this video. And uh, have a good weekend and I'll see you next time.